down in the Braves dugout by one of the starting pitchers for the Braves, Urban Santana. Urban, thanks so much for joining us. Here you are, your first year with the Braves. How has it been so far the first couple of months? It was very good. Everything is very good. I mean, uh, we have a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, a lot of young talent here. So far, nobody's throwing seeds at you, so that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good, it is a good thing. <laughs> David Freeze takes the first pitch, first strike. You're 5 and 3, a 4.09 ERA, but you spent some time, actually, the bulk of your career on the other side with the Angels, last year with the Royals, and now here in Atlanta. How has it been playing for three different teams in three different years? Well, it's been great. I mean, uh, it's been up and downs, you know. I've been up and down with the Angels, and then. Uh, I went to Kansas and then regrouped myself and then got a, have a good year. So and then uh, just trying to do the same thing here. How, how do you like pitching in the National League and, and getting an opportunity to swing the bat? Well, it's, it's a little bit different because you have to face the pitcher. You don't have to uh, you don't have to face the the, the center hitter. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. How do, how do you like hitting? Can you hit? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Either strike out or put a ball on play. <laughs> One ball, two strikes here to David Freeze, hitting 222 with two home runs and 15 RBIs on the year. The one two from Floyd is outside, two balls and two strikes. Irvin, take us through th that process of what it's like. You know, people don't realize as ball players, you're, you're also people and you're moving from one city to the next. What is it like when you're changing teams and having to go from one city to another? As Freeze goes to right field, Hayward goes back and makes the play for the first time. Well, it's a long process, you know. It's a lot of moving going on, you know. I just have to be in contact with my agent to find a place to live for the whole season and just in case you get traded during the season. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. When you're talking about the moving part, what about the relationship you have with your pitching coaches? And, and again, you know, it's Roger McDowell this year. You know, last year, one year in Kansas City, one year. And then just previously, and, and with the Angels, I mean, it's a different coach every year. Well, I just trying to make it as easy as possible. You know, I just not, not trying to do too much. I just trying to make it simple. You know, I just tell them what I work when I just have a game plan with when when I throw my bullpens and all that. So they very much simple. No balls, one strike here to Chris Sinetta, batting 254, five home runs, and 18 RBIs on the year for the Angels. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. And again, we are speaking with Urban Santana, one of the starters for this Atlanta Braves rotation. On the year five and three of 4.09 ERA. Spent eight years with the Angels. Oh, two misses outside. And 96 wins. One of those wins we're about to show a highlight of. I think you might remember it. I'm going to say that the date. And you tell me if you remember it. July 27, 2011, as that one hit Sionetta. And he'll take first base in the 1 2 pitch. Do you, do you recall that date? Of course. Of course. What a question. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the days you're not going to forget. A no hitter against the Cleveland Indians. You walked one. How many did you strike out? Do you know? Probably eight. Oh, you you undersold yourself. You struck out 10. <laughs> okay. Just uh, being modest. <laughs> Did you have any type of feel? I mean, coming out of the bullpen that day, did you feel like you had better stuff than normal? Did you feel, or no, was it just was, another day? I was, I was a little late. Oh, I was yeah. getting to the bullpen a little late, and everybody was looking at me. I mean, like, you late. Well, how about this? Richards tried to lay down a sacrifice bunt, but it's a 5-4-3 double play. Hey, Irvin, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.